Hello, beautiful people of the internet. How are you doing today? My name is Jackie, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, in this video, I am going to be going over every single book on my Libby TBR. Libby is an app that I use all the time where basically you put in your library card information and then you have access to lots of different ebooks and audiobooks through your library. Since I am going back to college very soon and I've been instructed to pack light considering we're living in very unprecedented times. I don't want to take a lot of physical books that I probably won't get to anyway. And that means that any leisure reading that I get to from now until November is probably going to be through Libby. So I thought in this video I would go over every single book on my Libby TBR. And I think there's got to be over a hundred. And then you guys can let me know which books you would like to see me get to soon or ones that you think I would particularly like. Granted, some of these books have no waiting periods and some of them have six month long waiting periods. So when I talk about each book, you will see the icons from the Libby app on the screen and then there will be a little picture next to the book and if it's a plus sign that means the book is available now and then if it's shaped like a calendar, the more dots on the calendar, the longer the waiting period. I won't really be able to give you many thoughts about each individual book because there's gotta be over 100 books on my Libby TBR. Recently I actually compared my TBR shelf on Goodreads to the Libby app. So basically every time I found something on my TBR shelf that I don't own physically, I would search for it on Libby and if Libby had it, I added it to the TBR shelf. Plus I have other things on the shelf that I just saw on the app and I was like, that looks interesting and I added it knowing basically nothing about it. So there's gonna be a lot of books to get through. Let's just get started. So starting at the bottom of the list with the oldest books on my Libby app, I have The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas, People Like Us by Dana Mele, Mele, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, the Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, and The Glass Bear by Lauren DeStefano. Next, Sawkill Hill Girls by Claire Legrand, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Churton, In Cold Blood by Truman Capote, and Fury Born also by Claire Legrand, The Poppy War by R.F. Kwong, The Good Girl by Mary Kubica, The Couple Next Door by Sherry LaPena, the Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine, and The Fifth Season by M.K. Jemison. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Watching You by Lisa Jewell. My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. And Truly Madly Guiltily by Leanne Moriarty. Next, we have The Lion Game by Ruth Ware, An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina, which I actually checked out for a little while, but then I didn't actually read it and I returned it. The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Before She Knew Him by Peter Swanson. And All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda. The Power by Naomi Alderman. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Carry On by Rainbow Growl, which I don't know if I actually want to read that one anymore, but you guys let me know. And The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers, The Thief by Megan Wallen Turner, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, and Never Night by J. Kristoff. Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough, Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. That one has a really long ass wait time. And Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter, and Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, which I've never actually read, though I have seen the movie, so I don't know if I would still like the book or not. Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Raish, The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima, and Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Next, we have The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood and The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker, followed by Not That Bad by Roxane Gay, Hamilton and Peggy, A Revolutionary Friendship by L.M. Elliot, and The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng, 
then she was gone, Lisa Jewell. The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty, Eligible by Curtis Zinnenfeld, and Longborn by Joe Baker. The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara, Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Karen Kilgariff and Georgia, her last name was cut off, so I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know what it is, and Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. My Sister the Serial Killer by Anikon Braithwaite, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, wow. I have The Kite Runner by Claude Hosseini on here, which I actually read that already, but that was freshman year of high school, so I would like to read it again. And I have another one of his books, A Thousand Splendid Sons. And Onyx and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. This Savage Song by Victoria Swab. The Dinner by Ermin Koch. The Girls in the Garden by Lisa Jewell. And The Clan of the Cave Bear by Jean M. O. <laughs> if you've been watching me, you know that I can't pronounce anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've probably butchered so many people's names. I don't know how to pronounce anything. <laughs> Spinning Silver and Uprooted, both by Naomi Novik. American Gods by Neil Gaiman, The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, which, man, has a really long waiting period, and The Secrets We Kept by Laura Prescott, also really long waiting period. Baby Teeth by Zoe Stage, and Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood, The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, Jacoby by William Ritter, and Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. A Murder in Time by Julie McElveen, Dread Nation by Justina Ireland, All the Beautiful Lies by Peter Swanson, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, and Lies She Told by Kate Hollihan. Let Me Lie and I See You, both by Claire McIntosh, The Other Misses by Mary Kubica, You Are Not Alone by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, and Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian, The Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, Seven Stones to Stand or Fall by Diana Gabaldon, that's a series of Outlander short stories, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, which has way too long a waiting period, and House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Neon, The Diviners by Lip Bray, There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole, Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maharin, and A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. The Wife by Alifair Burke, House of Dragons by Jessica Cluis, The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery, and The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. Ever the Hunted by Aaron Summerill, I Am Princess X by Sherry Priest, the City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayburn, and Liar, Temptress, Soldier, Spy by Karen Abbott, Blood Sisters by Sarah Christwood, Catherine the Great by Robert K. Massey, All These Beautiful Strangers by Elizabeth Clayforth, Clay, Clayforth? <laughs> The Roanoke Girls by Amy Engel, and The Book of Essie by Megan McLean Weir. The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton, Broken Things by Lauren Oliver, Misery by Stephen King, Recursion by Blake Crouch, and Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. And finally, the two I added most recently, The Perfect Nanny by Layla Slimani, and The Last Wish by Andrzej Spowski. Uh, Andrzej Spowski? But yes, Andrzej Sapkowski. That's how you pronounce it. Thank you. Okay, guys, that is every single book on my Libby TBR. I don't even know how many books that was. I feel like I've been reading them forever. So if there were any titles on that list that you would really like to see me read soon or that you think I particularly enjoy, let me know. Also, if any of these books are actually terrible and I shouldn't read them, you can let me know that too. <laughs>
Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every single Wednesday. My social media links are down below if you want to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or be my friend on Goodreads. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a sensational rest of your day. Bye and I'll see you in the next video.